Hey everybody, my name's Azalea, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. I am finally introducing y'all to my new pet. My new pet, this is baby Begonia. She's eight weeks old. She's an English Angora rabbit, and she is just my living doll baby dream, and I love her so much. I'm really excited, y'all. So, I have a history of keeping rabbits as pets. I had them as I was a little girl. And um, when, a few years after high school, when I was just working, I had a rabbit in my apartment with me, Mrs. Beasley. And she was such a good rabbit. She did tricks. And she was just like a big brown lop-eared rabbit. And then, back when I was in college, I got, Bowie and Bowie was a white lop ear, you know, miniature rabbit. And uh, Bowie spent a long time with me all the way through when I was pregnant with Tom. And then when my children were little, we had Candy Boy. And Candy Boy, oh, Candy Boy was lovely. Now, the I treat my rabbits like dogs. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if you want a tame rabbit, all you have to do is hold them all the time. That's it. Um, it helps if you get them when they're young, so they're not, like, already traumatized and stuck in their old rabbit ways. So, I knew that Miss Begonia was going to come home with me <sighs> fairly soon after she was born. I said, oh, I love her. Or it could have been him at that point. Had to wait and see. So, I have been um, talking with Begonia's former human mom um, for a long time and getting updates on her growth. And I've met her mom and her dad. And, you know, I have just always wanted an Angora rabbit. Always. Now, if you have noticed, she's quite fluffy. Um, yeah, her eyes, she's got eyes, I promise. They're down at Begonia. Look over here. Yeah, there's the eyeball. There's the eyeball. Uh, she's quite fluffy, isn't she? So the Angora rabbits, if you did not know, are the rabbits where you harvest their wool. And her wool will keep growing and growing and growing. You know, Angora sweaters, Angora wool is the finest wool. And uh, so this little precious begonia, um, her wool will keep on growing out and eventually I'll shave her down. Now, my obsession and yearning for an Angora rabbit started when I was a child. And um, Mrs. Beasley was rescued. She was abandoned in front of a pet smart. Um, so someone just left her in a cage. They left a letter with her. They were like, my name is Mrs. Beasley and I do tricks. Was what the letter said. And it was it was Mrs. Beasley, and she did do tricks. Uh, so she was a great pet. And, um, you know, they've... <sighs> Candy Boy, my last one during my divorce, um, when I was moving out of our old house, Candy Boy was in what I thought to be a secure dog crate. You know, heavy duty on my parents' carport. It was, I think, her first night there. And... Uh, a dog got, got Candy Boy. So, anyway, that was <sighs> devastating. And then, you know, this past year, my dog Fred, my life partner Fred, the dog, um, passed away. And it's been just a big hole in my life. And she doesn't fill a Fred size hole, but I am a person who needs a pet. I need a pet. I really, really do. And so, Little Begonia is here. Well, let me tell y'all how I got started yearning for an Angora rabbit when I was a little child. When I was a little child, my Aunt Debbie, and I, and she came to visit Begonia recently. My, both my Aunt Tammy and Debbie came and visited Begonia. She's settling in here at Barn, at the Barn Life. Uh, and so, she, my Aunt Debbie was like, do you remember? And I was like, when you took me to see an Angora rabbit presentation at the library when I was a little girl. I can't believe you remember it. I couldn't believe she remembered taking me to that. Um, 
and I and she, we both remembered and truly you know they had the a lady with angora rabbits brought them to the library and she, I remember she was showing us how you pluck them once it does get really long they'll start dropping their coat and you can kind of just easily pull out the furs and that's one way to harvest the wool um so <laughs> uh yes when I was a little girl I saw it at the library now this is nasty but you know Fred was a hairless dog and my life partner and he got so many like little clogged pores like pimples and blackheads and I would I would pick them I'll pop his pimples for him and pick at his skin and uh, <laughs> I am a little neurotic and having something to pick and do just soothes my soul I always have to have my little hands doing things and if I, if I picked it Fred, then I didn't pick it myself. And so that was really good. So if she does start dropping her coat, I might, I might just harvest it in that manner. But most likely she's going to get a shave. It seems like the best method. She might get a little haircut around the face just to let her eyes out. And it's going to be getting hot this summer. My gosh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just carrying on because I'm just so excited to have this rabbit. So yes, I am a rabbit person, always have been. And it's just so nice to have another rabbit and my dream rabbit on top of that. Look at this fluffy girl. They call this color blue. She's a blue English Angora. Look at this precious little tulip, tulip begonia. Tulip begonia, got one ear up, one ear down. That's so cute, girl. I'm gonna show them the bottom side. Y'all wanna see her lay on her little back? Let's look. It's okay, Begonia. So, Begonia will lay on her back like this. It's okay, baby doll. And this will be really good for trimming her nails and grooming her belly. She's just my darling angel, baby. Most perfect beast. Hmm, yes, you just an angel fluffy baby. You're just an angel fluffy baby. I've been accused of black and white thinking, this, that, hot, cold, and it is, it is me. So my last pet was completely bald, and my current pet is as fluffy as they come. Black and white, hot or cold. So these are her little paws. <laughs> So when you hold them more secure, a little firmer, like I got my belly on her back feet right now, it just helps them calm on down. You don't want to hold a bunny loosey-goosey, but not too tight either. Oh, this is so cute. Mm -hmm. So cute. Look at this bunny. Look at this precious little bunny. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I will take you guys along on the journey whenever she does get her first shearing and I learned to spin wool. If you have any questions about Miss Begonia, she would be glad to answer them in the next video. I'm gonna show y'all where Begonia is kept. She has an enclosure and how I do her litter box. She's completely litter trained. That was a shock, like that was a shock. Like, I can't believe this perfect beast. Completely got all of her peas into her litter box. Amazing, amazing. Um, I've never had a rabbit do so well with a litter box before. This perfect beast, you did good. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you her litter box and her enclosure and my the rabbit system. All right, so I use this shelf stuff. It's like shelves for your room. It comes with these things. You build them. Only instead of building a shelf out of them, I build a rabbit enclosure. And I did this before for Bowie the rabbit and it worked out so well. I thought I'd do it for Begonia. So I've got a rug on the floor in here and that is just to kind of protect the floor and to help her hop around because her little fluffy fur slippers just slip all around on a wood floor. So she's got her little rug and I can vacuum that. I can take it out and wash it in the washing machine, put it back in. 
Um, she's got some empty toilet rolls in there that she can pick up and throw around with her mouth. I've got a heavy dish here that she can't knock over filled with rabbit pellets. Water dispenser. I got her this little box because I thought she'd like to get inside of it. Um, but she likes to hop on top. <laughs> and here is her litter pan. It's just a kitty litter pan. And what I like to do is put newspaper on the bottom. And then I have straw pellets um, on top of the newspaper. And then I put hay in there. So she'll sit in there and eat hay and make poops. Glorious beast. And so I'll just put this square piece fits nice and easily back in here. That's how I get in and out. Put it in here, put it in here. Smush it down, easy breezy. Begonia is contained. So here's the straw pellets I use for her litter pan. It's like a bedding, it's absorbent. And then this is the hay that she's nibbling on right now. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick introduction to Begonia and we'll see y'all next time.